Hi guys, I had somebody ask about the uh, relationship between size, distance, and angle, and the so-called small angle formula. So uh, the idea is, let's say, let's say you're standing here on the earth, and I'm going to imagine, let's go ahead and say you're standing there, okay, and there's two objects in the sky. Let's say there's an object here and an object here, some distance apart, or it could be uh, the ends of a single object, like the, uh, there could be a river or something on a planet, or a, a crater, or a, what would you call it, a can, um, some kind of a canyon on the planet. One edge of the canyon is here, the other edge of the canyon is, is here. So the idea is you're looking out and you see this guy at one angle, so let's go ahead and draw that angle. Here's one angle. You see that guy. And you look in the sky, and at a slightly different angle, there's this guy. You could either be looking with the naked eye, or you could be looking through a telescope. The point is, there's going to be some kind of angle between those two guys, and we're going to call that angle alpha. Okay? That's the alpha from the formula. Now, the distance between the two guys in the formula is called the size. So it's actually a distance, but it's referred to as the size because it would be the size of the canyon or the size of the crater or whatever it is you're looking at. And then in the formula on the astronomy calculator, there's a distance. And the distance is the distance between the observer and the object that has the size. So that's the distance d. And the way the formula works is the angle in radians is equal to simply the size divided by the distance. That's a, If you like, that's a definition of what the radian angle is. The radian angle is defined in terms of a circular geometry, and it's the arc length divided by the radius of the circle. You could sort of think of this as the uh, as being the radius of a very large circle that has a, a radius d. Okay, But that's the idea. This is in this is in radians. Now, in arc seconds, what the formula does is it converts the angle alpha into arc seconds, and I believe the number is 2.06 times 10 to the fifth arc seconds per degree times the size divided by the distance. And what the small angle formula calculator does is it allows you to plug in any two of these guys, the angle and the distance, or the angle and the size, and solve for the other one, or the size and the distance, and so on. So here I'll pop over to that guy and explain that. Okay, so suppose we go to the VCALC website and we want to solve a small angle formula problem. First of all, <clears throat> the small angle formula uh, equations are here, here, and here. So the question is, what do we know and what do we need to know? In the particular example that uh, I was asked about, the things we know are the distance and the angle. So the first one gives you the angle if you know the size and the distance. The second one gives you the size if you know the distance and the angle. And the third one gives you the distance if you know the size and the angle. So in this case, we're interested in this middle guy. And uh, we're given the angle is... Uh, a certain number of arc seconds, and the distance is what whatever it is. So suppose uh, suppose the distance turned out to be uh, two astronomical units. You could just put in two, and then choose astronomical units here. Boom, <clears throat> and it tells you the distance to the thing. I mean the size of the thing in meters. A one arc second separation between the two ends of an object. Knowing its distance is two astronomical units, that means it's size is going to be so many. Let's convert to kilometers so it's easier to talk about. Looks like it's 1,400 kilometers in size. Of course, if you want to know the size in miles, you can do that or whatever. So you can change the units to whatever you need. <coughs> um, how many inches is it? Boom. Yeah, there you go. I don't know how useful that is, but you get the idea. So the point is, if you know any two of these variables, we can solve for the other one. And that's all there is to it.